Karuna, Dumela is a greeting. What a door. A jar laying a welcome mat for you. Offering you a chair, a glass of water, a cup of coffee. Dumela says it is good to see you, so I say, Dumela. My name is a one who carries me. Reverberating truth split for wise men's ears scarlicky. Mutsola Polo, like Paul, not here to entice with eloquence, but speak with relevance. Command audience, for these words, I'm a girl from the land of Bamagate. Bahama Ilabe, Bahasa Tong, Kasu Hupare, Mutim Sad. As you are Maboro, Abu Mutigualo, belonging first to God, and then to the God who was my mother, and then to the soil that said good people. Let the telling begin. Uh, it is such an honor to be here, uh, as the poem says. My name is Pogodiso, and I'll just do one poem. And this is City Blues. This is my navigation of my relationship with the city. Here, yesterday is a dead thing, and I'm not willing to visit it. Not willing to mourn that way. Regretful and full of questions here. I am a past conflating itself in too much today, but my father's sins weigh too heavy. My mother's strength is a cape. Three sides bigger than me, so inside I am a small thing, unsure of her power. What can a girl do with all this sadness? Sell it for cash, maybe. For therapy, will she even make it to therapy? Dragging her bleeding wounds off stage down the driveway to an office too antique to hold answers for a praying black girl today, you'd be tired of telling the stories. I am tired of carrying them too, but if the stage is a fire, let me make of them logs, walk away sure they are ashes. My little cousin, solar pills to quieten the voice in her head, as in she tried to solo healing to the land of the quiet in that morning. She was the quietest song I have ever heard, and I've spent Years traveling away from that place. For what words can I offer her to bring her back to myself, to herself, to her mother? Every day in the city, I am trying to return to myself. And some mornings, even the mirror is afraid of reflecting my truth. But I'm 30 years now. Every year before now has been spent window shopping for happiness through glass walls of experience at the store. I pick it up. I try it on, always a bit too tight, not hanging the right way. So I put it back on the Convinced, like most doors I've been to, lacking on the plus size department section, that maybe they just don't make it for girls like me. Happens. Or if they do, it is always at hefty prices costing me my rent and data money, telling me in dollar signs that I'm not the target market in the city. A girl be feeling like target any other day. Hit on by men three decades older than me. Men tired even on their time. Sucker for great conversation that I am bored to the bone. But the city is clumsy like that. It does not know to hold you together at 8 a.m. on a combi ride to a job that does not love you. By love you, I mean see you. By see you, I mean with money. I'm traveling away from home, wearing a ghost body and flailing my arm through walls saying, I am still here. How do you not see me? But everything walks out through me. First my name, and I'm like, you have to be. But then my arms and legs, like I've not summoned myself to serenity before. The city is a beast, and I'm crawling inside its mouth. Its teeth on mountains for my conquering, but I did not. I did not come here brazen for war, so I keep it moving, or it keeps me moving. Either way, I am moving away from the city soon. Thank you so much, Singleton.